What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Queen of Time. How is everybody doing today? In the last episode I got a horse. Well, I won the horse. For a bet of 50 freaking rupees. It's like nothing. Anyways, in this episode I got a new microphone as you might hear by now. Audio quality is a lot better. And I got referred to Kakariko Graveyard by Sheik, but why? Well, there are plants in front of this tombstone, I find that suspicious, so let's check out what's inside here. And... It's a question mark where we're in, and oh my god, is it? Wait, that's Dumpet. That's the dude from the Gravedigging game. Is he dead? <laughs> Young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. That's it for race. Follow me if you dare. So this is technically some sort of race. You need to follow him and definitely not get hit by the fire like I just did. Just follow his pattern and you should be fine. It's not that difficult. But once again, don't get hit by the fire. That's valuable time lost. You don't want that. You also need to make sure that you reach that door in time or you're definitely over. Can I? Oh, I should not have cracked that. I think I could have rolled under it. So anyways, going here. And there in the next door. We keep following him and don't get hit. We're doing good. We're doing very good. So, this is the last part and... I need to race, I need to see if I can do it under a minute. Can I do it under a minute? Yes, I can do it under a minute. Which is good. Let's see what he has to say. The time of this race was 58 seconds. <laughs> Young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I leave here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing, be careful on your way back. <laughs> so dump is gone, and a chest appears with the hook shot, as dump already said. So let's open the chest, and see how it looks like. Should be a spring loaded hook or something. And this is the hook shot. It's a spring loaded chain that you can cast out to hook things. Yeah, you can use the drag items toward you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding C, you can aim. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, this is the item we needed to enter the Forest Temple, it's the hook shot. But, we're not gonna be even close to entering this place. Now we approach these kinds of blocks, and these blocks remember me from the Door of Time, so what I'm gonna do is play the Song of Time, just like that. And the box will disappear. Just like that. So now we can go on. And there's light at the end of the place. And if you look very closely, we're at the top of the windmill. And here's... Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't fall down yet. I was gonna say the dude is there. Anyways, jump on here. And we're gonna get a heart piece. If this thing goes faster. I hope so. And there we go. And because of that, we got a new heart container. So we got 11 hearts and a new bar of hearts has been added. Which is awesome. So before I'm gonna exit this place, this dude is... Oh my god, that's face. <laughs> I have no comments. But anyways, pull out your ocarina in front of him. He goes like, what? You got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up the windmill. I'll never forget this song. This is the Song of Storms. And if you look at YouTube, there are so... Wait a minute. Yeah. There are a lot of remixes of this song, and some of them are even better than the other ones. So definitely go check out Song of Storm Remix on YouTube. And by playing the Song of Storms, it will rain. Logically. You have learned the Song of Storms. And because of that, the windmill now is a lot quicker. Let's see what he has to say now. Oh no, a storm again! You played Ocarina again, didn't you? Urgh. Yeah, 
Yeah, like that. But this thing's a lot quicker now, and it technically messes up the windmill again. We need this song later. Not yet, but later. So now we got the bookshelf, and I'm not done yet. Because I'm gonna go back to the race and see if I can beat it under a minute. That's why I was testing my time in the first run to make sure if I'm able to beat it in a minute. I got a minute to win it. So let's pull it back again and go in like this. And see him again. <laughs> Young man, are you? Yeah. Well, it's the same story, so I'm not really gonna beat it. So technically, if I'm not getting hit by fi fire, I should be able to win this. I should be able to keep up with this dude, but he's quick. So, let's just follow the same track. And dodge the fire. I may not get behind too far. I think it just randomly drops flames wherever he feels like it. I don't really know what the pattern is. Either. Last time he dropped flame there, and now he drops further ahead. So I should be still on schedule for the time. If I don't get hit. Yeah, this should be easy. This should be easy. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that was easy. That was really easy, actually. The time of the race was 56 seconds. You're back, young man. Was the present that gave you fun and useful? Definitely. And now he drops a hard piece. Which means we're getting started on a new hard container. And the box already gone, so that saves us a moment. And I'm getting out of here. Hmm. Now that we got the hook shot, it's gonna be the same thing as when we got the... Boomerang! Indeed, it's cultural hunting time. So, I will see you once I reach Hyrule Castle. So, peace out, I'll see you in a Alright, so we're at Hyrule Castle. Whoa, wait a minute. What? What happened here? And, oh my god! Wow, it's not even close to Hyrule Castle. Wow. Just wow. This is Ganon's castle, so Hyrule Castle is destroyed in seven years. Wow. Anyways, the only reason I'm here now is to get the Skulltula, and I believe he is somewhere up this bridge. Yeah, I can hear it. There it is. So just kill it like that. This is actually one hitter, so I'm really happy with that. There we go. So, now we've got more to do, I'll see you guys once I reach Zora's River. See you in a moment. Alright, so I'm at Zora's River right now and I'm here for one of the heart pieces. So let's see some things here first, just rupees and some magic. Which is okay. Nice, let's get rid of that. We should look like that. Boom. Then... Like this, bro? Yeah, that's good. So it's gonna, yeah, there will be more, and we're just gonna make more. Now, I believe that. First heartbeat is over there, and I. Let me see. Was told that the first heartbeat is here as well. Let me see. I didn't make that. I got a feeling I'm not going the right way. As a matter of fact, I think it's more to the right. And since it's day, I won't fight it anyways. So that's um, I was it again. Are you kidding me? Did I just forget the sun song? Of course, Jesus! I seriously, I seriously forgot the sun song. Wow, it's been a while since I played it. Anyways, they once again turn to the night, and now I can search for the missing sculpture. And now I need to take a look where it is. Hmm. I'm gonna climb up here and see if I can find it. It should be that far away. Oh, 
I was told it's on the wall, but where on the wall? Oh wait, they're on the wall! Jeez. And... There we go. Now I got my sculpture number... 45, which is awesome. Oh. Okay, now since I'm in the vicinity already, I'm gonna... Well, ow. What the hell? I'm gonna go uh, ahead and visit Zora's domain while I'm there. Ow. I'm gonna visit Zora's domain while I'm still close to the vicinity. Hmm. Can I climb up there? Is it just so difficult, dude? It's so difficult to reach the freaking domain. Okay, so I'm here, and as you can see, it's still... The waterfall's back, that's interesting. I'll just play Zelda's lullaby again and see if it opens. It should, actually. But I'm not the creator of this game. And, yeah, this hasn't changed in seven years. And it's day. Way to go, random moment. So let's go inside and see how it's going with the Zoras. And what? Oh my god. Sora's domain is frozen? What? It's snowing. It's freaking snowing in Sora's domain. Where are these all us? Don't tell me they're under the ice. Wow. That's um, shocking. So. From what I remember, the king wasn't in the eyes, but... Whoa, 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 whoa! Even the king is frozen, in some sort of red ice. How strange. Hmm. Cultural token somewhere near. Hmm. Oh. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. There should be sculptural somewhere near. Perhaps. Does it really have to be night for it to appear? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it actually has to be night. That's strange. Normally, in Zora's domain, it doesn't really have to be night. Weird. So, anyways, I'm gonna get the sculpture. It's at the top of the waterfalls, number 46, and I really need that. And I need to find a way to follow the uh, Zora King, because I really need to know what happens here. Can I reach it? Yeah, no. That's bye bye. And that's culture attack number 46. So. What? I'm worried about Saria. Yeah, I know, that's the hint. Because you are supposed to go to the forest temple right now after you get the hookshot. But I'm gonna be unoriginal and take a different route. So, let's go down here. Let's see what happened here. Well, this place is. Lord Javia was gone, and is he frozen as well under this thick layer of ice? Wow, I wonder that. I really do. Hmm. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, and I hope I still make this, I'm afraid I'm gonna be over time, is go over here. Duh. That. Oh, I can actually. Can I climb up there? Oh, well, I just fell. Oh, well, thanks. That works for me. So, in the next episode, I'm gonna tackle the mini dungeon called the Ice Cavern. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, take care, y'all. And I'm gonna run!